Good morning. Hey guys, I hate continuing to talk about this. I'm sure. That's why you set up a background, put on a black and white filter, did a little bit of post editing, and then uploaded this video after you recorded it on your $2,000 camera. Right on! You really hate talking about it. But I'm talking about it because people keep talking to me about it, and it's just escalating. I wonder why. Maybe you've just realized that you're going to face some serious consequences for doing something that's ridiculous for the sake of drama. Or you're just, you know, giving yourself the delusion that you are really that important. Like, there's things that keep changing about this, this whole topic. Like and your story? The topic is Turtle. Mr. Turtle. Reptar. Who died because he was put outside and maybe died of panic or died, I don't know of what reason, but he died. You sound like you're so mourning his loss. I mean, you know, it's not like, you know, putting a turtle under a plastic bin will kill it after you poach it in the sun. I mean, it probably was panic, but, you know, whatever. I mean, it's just a fucking trivial bullshit. You ain't fucking worry about that. I'm so sad. Wah. You know, that's, that's what you sound like right now entirely. Secondly, if an animal dies so easily of panic, that doesn't make it any better. And that goes to say that there are things going on in your fucking household that make an animal more susceptible to having a heart attack or, or something like that because its environment is literally constantly scaring the shit out of it. You know, it's easy to assume that living with you would kill a normal human being. So what do you think a small box turtle that uh, is about this big would have to go through? Oh, I also find it funny that now you realize he's a turtle, because I do remember when this started, you called him a desert tortoise, and then Mr. Repsion so eloquently pointed out that he's a box turtle, and yet you're a fucking moron who has no idea how to take care of a fucking pet. No, you don't have to be an amphibiologist in order to understand how to take care of a fucking lizard, but you should have some common sense as to not do that. However, I stand by my theory that this was intentional. And you'll bitch about that here in a minute. And it was an accident, for whatever reason he died. But anyway. <laughs> for whatever reason he died. But whatever. <laughs> right on. Good lord. People are saying that this was intentional. <laughs> and it was. First of all, you're... you're Okay. There's going to be swearing in this video. You are... <gasps> oh no! My feels! You're a fucking idiot. Not as big of an idiot as you. I don't kill pets for attention. There's no reason I would want to intentionally kill my beloved turtle. Actually, there is a gigantic reason. It's because you knew that I was going to stop making videos about you because I find you far too stupid and far too below my intellect to even acknowledge. And that you knew you had to do something completely fucked, completely out of left field, horribly offensive, in order to dredge up my attention again. And even every single one of my subscribers notice that as well you know you don't just do something this fucking stupid at the age of 27 and not expect people to bat an eye and say what the fucking hell dude and after a while not think that this was intentional okay people will and i did and i think that you did this simply to get notoriety again simply to get me to make videos again you did this purely for drama, and I think that's absolutely disgusting. It shows me that you have no moral conscience whatsoever. That you'll do things simply to get people to talk about you, no matter how fucked up they are. Kind of makes me wonder what anybody who went to high school with you had to suffer through. And, like I said in a previous video, if anybody out there who watches my videos went to school with this guy, feel free to inbox me or post in a comment what this bastard must have been like during those times. Because I kind of want to know. It's just a, a curiosity of mine. You called my need to know. No. Okay. I was using him for videos, and I needed him for videos. You don't use a pet or need a pet. For videos, you dumb fuck. Do you think that makes you look any better to me? That makes you look worse. That makes you look like you're so fucking stupid that you don't understand that people take in pets because they want to take care of them. They love them. They have this emotional connection to them. You know, look at people with dogs and stuff. Dogs love their owners. Forever. There's a reason they're called man's best friend. They love you more than a human being can love another human being. For Christ's sake. They're loyal to the end. You don't use them like a product. 
You talk about a fucking... You talk about anything like it's an object. It was a pet. You don't use it or need it for videos. Man, you are fucking screwed up. And I liked looking at him every day, and I liked hanging around him, and I liked... It was a good turtle. There's no, there's no incentive to... Bullshit. You obviously don't have any connection to anything. You just described something that was a living, at least somewhat sentient being, like a, like a rock. God knows what you must think of other people. <laughs> I mean, you are a classic narcissistic, uh, narcissistic sociopath. Classic. Killing a turtle. Okay, and for everybody who says I did it for for publicity or something, and I didn't, I didn't intentionally kill him if I killed him at all. But the people who are saying I did it for publicity, you haven't seen anything of Turtle. All I had to do was say. Uh, you don't need to. You're just doing the act of going completely fucking nuts and doing something out of left field because you want to justify bringing me out of the fucking hiatus I wanted to indefinitely do from this shit. You know. It, I'm actually not even making this video for you because you're far too retarded to understand anything that I'm saying. You you have such a fundamentally stunted grip on anything. You you have about the level of intellect that maybe like a fifth grader would have, or maybe like a a, a mid teenager, like fourteen or fifteen. I, 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 clearly, this is observable. But I'm, I'm making this more for you know my subscribers and other people out there that are now watching this whole thing unfold. You know. You just have, like, such a, a, a limited grip and an association with other things. Like, it's the entire world is secondary to you. Everything's experiences in this world is secondary to your own. It's like you are, you're under the delusion that you're creating everything that you experience, you know. And that people shouldn't be offended at the things that you do because they're just your screw-ups and they don't have somehow an impact on the world out there which goes to show me how far gone you are man i mean jesus christ in, in real terms you are absolutely you're lost you're lost yes you did this intentionally every single thing in this your body language the words that you're using Everything that you're fucking doing is displaying to me that your hyper defensiveness about this is simply guilt Trying to be damned down You're a guy who proclaimed that he loved animals forever and ever and ever on this website And you did something outside of your moral code because you're slipping The little cracks in your mind are starting to get bigger and bigger and you're starting to come apart you're watching the number in your top 400 YouTubers list push you farther and farther and farther back. You're starting to realize that people really don't give a flying fuck about anything that happens. And you're doing everything in your power to make them care. Even if it's something horribly unethical. People know how you work. You're not that hard to figure out. You're not as smart and as put together and as sophisticated as you want to believe you are. That's why it was easy for me to make the assumption which is turning out to be true that you did this for publicity and attention specifically because you use the word publicity he died and not show him in a video or say he died and give him away or say he died in some other way nobody said any of that like that doesn't make any sense i don't have to kill a turtle in order to have some publicity stunt yeah, you do actually, and you feel you do. Now you're doing all these videos. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be making these follow-up videos unless you wanted to do this for some kind of publicity. And this is just disgusting that you have to do this. You know, I, I'm not even offended at the notion that I feel you fucking killed this thing completely out of malice and and wanting to do this simply because you want to dredge my um, emotions up again. You did, but what did you expect? You're sick. You're fucking sick. I mean, there's, I don't expect anything else from you. You know? I mean, it's just like with serial killers. You start on something small and you move up to something bigger because you want attention. Fundamentally, like if we're going to even bring the, the serial killer contingent up, uh, but most of these motherfucking crazy bastards, all they want is attention. That's why they fucking do it. They want people to figure them out. You do things in a way that you want people to figure you out. And you did this because you wanted people to figure it out. So you can sit there and make up excuses as to why they're wrong and you're right. 
you're you're stuck mentally trying to forever justify the weird shit that you do because you're just twisted you have a broken psychology that's non-functional for the real world and this is why you take pride in the fact that you have a pretty much unrealistic job i'm not trying to talk shit about anybody who actually enjoys making videos but you know for a lot of people this is an unrealistic job process you live in a fantasy world you get paid like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to sit around and fundamentally accomplish nothing your videos have changed the world in no way shape or form you know your 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 content doesn't do anything for anybody and you are living in a delusion that somehow or another that this is what the world needs while getting more and more desperate for attention that you feed off of um, you know the objects of your narcissism are slipping away from you and I think that this is also sort of a done as a cover because of things going on in your personal life you don't want people to keep talking about the fact that your wife is pregnant as well and yes your, your, his wife is pregnant a guy that's this irresponsible managed to knock someone up and is so out of control with his ego thinks that he can be a decent dad you know wow I feel bad for that fucking kid I feel bad that one day that kid's gonna call you a father because they're gonna look back on this and go oh god what a pathetic piece of shit oh god oh god of course, all you got to do is put them around your crazy, fucking insane. I hope she ends up in a loony bin mother for 30 seconds, and now you've already got another pseudo new age delusional lunatic in the family. You know, it's stupid that just because I make videos, everything's a publicity stunt. There is this thing called real life. But you don't have a real life, though. You've even explicitly stated that in the debates, which you copyright flagged. You've admitted that your life revolves around drama. You admitted it to almost every single fucking debater in that. And you're going to say that you know real life now. You don't have a real life. You can't tell me to my face to an extent as like over the internet can be that you don't have a real life and then say you do. And then say that you don't do things purely for publicity, which you admitted to me you purely do them for publicity. What? You know, this is why I'm not sharing my personal life with you guys anymore because you're even though you're doing it by making the video, but all right. Idiots. Like you cannot handle anything I say is ridiculous anyway why the fuck should we believe anything out of your mouth you've done everything in your fucking power to make sure that people realize you're a liar you're lying is you you're, you're you're doing everything in your power to lie and to make yourself look like you're just this person who's bullied and victimized by people you're just a whiny little bitch and you're being a classic example of the whiny little bitch who can't take the blame for his actions you know, you're like a kid who starts fires and then blames it on other people because he has this weird pyromania thing going on and he can't take the blame for starting fires and shit and wants to push it off on other kids just so they get in trouble because you get off on getting other people in trouble. You know, <laughs> thanks for the YouTube copyright school. I so enjoyed going <laughs> and being insulted by this website's idiotic process. So, uh, so the people who are calling, you know, animal control, this is, seriously, people are literally calling animal control about... Good. I hope they do, and I hope they continue to do this. You know, you can look at my previous videos. I had to take the address out because I don't want to dox anyone. I don't want to risk my channel even for this fucking asshole. If I don't have a platform in order to upload these videos on, then what's the sense of me doing it all? You know, it, it at all. You understand where I'm coming from. So the numbers are still in the previous videos, but I'm... I'm not putting an address in there. 30 seconds of searching on Google, I'm sure you could find it if you wanted to, but, you know, sorry. About this. Um, I've already talked to them, and they think you're stupid. Well, I don't believe that, because they just messaged me this morning, and they said they're going to send some people out anyway. You can tell me that you talked to them, and whatever. You know, you do realize that your local police department has been looking into you for some time, Greg. Do you know this? They've been looking into you for at least six months. Do you not know that your neighbors are one of the reasons why? Do you know that people think worldwide that there's something disturbingly wrong with you? You can't just live the life that you live and not be looked into. You married an underage woman, got her pregnant, 
and then you spread all these just disturbing lies all over the internet about yourself. You change your name more than some people change their underwear. You you just you live a life that's unbelievably suspicious, and you didn't think this was going to garner the attention of the authorities, really? Really? You you've been looked into for a long time. It's just like when your mother was looked into for cooping hens up on her property in deplorable conditions. And a lot of people thought, what the fuck is wrong with these crazy people that live near us? You can still look that up, too. If you want to read that, I have an archived news story about it in my description box for this video. So you can check that out. So <laughs> I'm saying you think you're stupid because I'm assuming they're rational human beings. Um, well, that doesn't make any difference because I don't believe you've talked to these people. When the police came for you, when they wanted to ask you some questions about the stuff that happened between you and Shiloh, you ran off to a hotel out of town and then pretended to be on the run from some dangerous people. You're a pussy. You, you can't handle authority figures whatsoever. I think the authorities are going to find it a little disturbing that over 100 or 200 people contacted your animal control about this and they're going to send some people out simply because it's your story versus 200 or so people which doesn't work in your favor at all you know i'm sorry i don't see where the hell you think you have the higher ground you know you're getting so many dislikes to likes ratios on your videos it's ridiculous but i'm sure you're going to show me a fucking diagram that you don't even understand how to read on your analytics and i'll lose but Whatever. This is going to be a long video, just so you know. You call animal control on somebody for uh, their turtle dying, and they're probably... Because you killed it intentionally. Probably going to roll their eyes at you. Okay. People, and I'm not trying to say Reptar isn't an important creature on Earth and all that. Why the hell would you name it Reptar? That just goes to show me how childish you are. I don't even give a fuck about Rugrats anymore, even though I didn't name my fucking turtles Blastoise and Squirtle. Something about Reptar just weird, I don't know. It's like you think you're a baby, like one of the Rugrats or something, because you tend to act like one at everything. I guess it's what bothers me. That stuff. People eat turtles every day. Every so? You're turtle soup. Okay, people eat turtles. They sell their shells, and they gut out the shells, and they eat them. And you know what? People like you don't do anything to stop that. So what's your point? You're another pussy-ass vegan, and you've been one ever since you started on YouTube, who has never done anything to stop this kind of stuff. Ever. Well, I've always found it interesting that people like you think meat-eaters are bad, and then you completely ignore the fact that many of us own pets, and we take care of our pets a lot of times better than we take care of ourselves. So what does that go to say? And what about plants, by the way? If you're going to go into this bullshit argument, what about plants like a Venus flytrap? There are carnivorous plants, but that just goes out the window because you're like, well, there's not very many of them. It's like you can't accept the fact that you don't have an argument because you don't know enough about biology or entomology or anything in this world at all environmentally to make a sound argument. You just like looking at gross pictures and saying you're bad because this. It's like how PETA was so faggoty one time they decided to compare chicken coops to the Holocaust which I thought was the most offensively stupid thing I've ever seen an organization that prides itself on its level of uh, moral superiority ever do in the history of anything. Okay, a lot of you wouldn't even look twice if I told you I had turtle soup today. But you're all freaking out. Actually, I would look twice at the fact you had turtle soup because it goes to show me that you're a fucking hypocrite. Because I had a pet that died. Because you killed it to make more drama. In my yard that you killed to make more drama. I'm not going to live that down. I just want to let you know. I'm never going to live that down. Ever. There's no way in hell that I can possibly live that down. That you're so disturbing, you would do something like this to stir up drama. Okay. So he could get some sun. He got a panic attack or whatever, freaked out. And multiple people have contacted me saying their turtles died of panic attacks. You want to show the emails? Because I don't believe that. You're... D you <laughs> This is why people look into you. Like I stated, that there have been people looking into you and investigating you for quite some time. Do you hear how you talk about things? You talk about them so callous. Like this is something that you did intentionally, and you talk about it like it's nothing. 
Like, it's, de it's dead, whatever. I care about it so much. It's dead, but there's no big deal. I care about it. I love this thing. It, it, I mean, watching this video, it's just hard to watch because you're doing this with such a blank face. You, you don't care. Don't lie to me. You don't give a shit that this thing is dead. You don't give a flying fuck. You probably, you know, this is probably the process you went through. You looked at it and said, well, this is a turtle and here's a dog that I have. Now, which of the two could I get away with better? I mean, this thing's smaller. All I got to do is shove it in a box. Dog's a little bigger. It actually makes noises, barks. Neighbors might get a little irate about that. Wife maybe leave me over it too. Eh, turtle. I mean, that's how your thought process works. I mean, that's how you think. And you know that's how you think. I mean, frankly, you're sick. <laughs> you got what you wanted. You got a response. Now you're making all these videos now that you're becoming more and more aware that uh, people are investigating you. You, you're, you're fucked. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do videos about you again, and you got the reaction that you wanted to get. And it's not a very good one. Multiple people, they just get scared, and they die. Anyway, so... Of what? That doesn't make any sense for something to just die when there's no stimuli around it. <laughs> what are you, fucking crazy? Yes, I've had small baby turtles that have died for weird reasons. They were this big. They were newborns. I've got two tortoises in my backyard that fuck all the time, and they're like 80 years old, and they still make baby tortoises. And they're fucking tiny, too. They're like the size of a, like a 50 cent piece when they're born. Sometimes that happens, because they're tiny as shit. Your turtle was at least a year. It was about this fucking big. That stands out to me. This whole thing is bullshit. And the it is. So why did you do it? Why did you do it? If it's bullshit, why did you do it? The you, you keep jumping, by the way, from topic to topic in this because you're trying to avoid incriminating yourself. You already incriminated yourself two or three times in your last couple of videos about this. Uh, this one more so, but you're, you're, you're trying your hardest to just jump off every topic when you realize, oh, almost said too much. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm having too much fun with this. People running this campaign against me are fucking, they're, they're retarded. Even though you've talked to me and you know exactly who's running this campaign. It's not a campaign. It's my personal outrage that you're so fucked up you would do this. But okay, I'm retarded, you know. I'm retarded. I, I went to college, but I'm retarded, you know. I have 160 IQ, I'm retarded, you know. I don't murder my own pets, I'm retarded. I don't feel the need to do things on purposely for the auspices of starting drama because I'm retarded. I'm not the guy who's talking about people in such a condescending manner and talking about the death of an animal in such a grossly blank manner and putting a smirk on every 30 seconds because I'm retarded. Right? I'm retarded because I'm not putting on the guise of a normal person while being a completely narcissistic sociopath. Right. Okay. 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 They're like mentally retarded psycho- like stupid fucking retard idiot moron douchebag pieces of shit fucking I want to say more things but I'm pretty sure I can't say those words. Call me a doo-doo head. Do it. Call me a doo-doo head. Go there. Go there. Go there. This is fucking... It's like you're such a choir boy that you can't even fucking curse with, like, any masculinity. You're such a, a sh sh shithead. You're, like, almost afraid to curse. Did Mother hit you with a flashlight for cursing? Were you, like, 13, Greg, when you stopped getting spanked? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Were you, like, 17 when you stopped having to take timeouts? Because <laughs> in your debate, you described some really weird things going on with you and Mom. I mean, you gotta say ad hominem bullshit, but at this point, I mean, what does it fucking matter? I mean, talking to a psycho kills his pets. The point is, you are pathetic. Mm, not as pathetic as you, but I can be pretty pathetic. I'm not gonna lie, I have pretty low self-esteem. People running this campaign, you are sad, pathetic people. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry we've offended you, your holiness. You, you, somebody, somebody accidentally gets involved with something where they make a mistake. Suddenly you're... It's not a mistake! It's not a lapse in judgment. You can't say that you were just like in a moment of insanity where you took something, the, a living being roughly the same size as this phone, and you put it under something and it's like, whatever, two hours later it comes out and it's dead. You don't just do that, you stupid idiot, and not know what you're doing. 
I mean, if anybody's retarded, it's got to be you for for thinking that we're so stupid. We don't see what the fuck is going on here. <laughs> you know, I'm not the one getting super offended at this moronic response. My outrage in my last video about this stemmed from the fact that you would do something like that intentionally. That's where my outrage. It's not that your video is causing me that kind of stress or that kind of anger. It's the, f n the notion, the fact you did what you did caused me all that. You know, it's just about as offensive as you making a girl lick her tits in front of your wife and then putting it on a video saying, oh, there's nothing going on, and then mysteriously ending up in a fucking hotel room with your dogs with her. It's totally not a man who cheats on his wife and then looks at other women the way you do in your videos. And I see that shit. Especially when you guest people in your videos who you try to find that are attractive and are better looking than your wife. And I mean, it, I don't know. I mean, you're the most edifying piece of shit that there is. Really, there is. I mean, you'll fuck anything to give your ego a boost. I mean, you know, you really will. But you just you you do it when you're with someone simply to boost your own ego. It's not that you have an emotional connection. By the way, shout out to Take Shot Action. I'll call you when I'm done recording the video. <laughs> um, you know, it's you you're just doing this to to fuel your ego. You know, whatever. Human beings. And you can just fucking judge whoever you want because you're the gods of Earth. I'm not saying I'm the gods of Earth. I'm saying that you think you're better than everyone, and in your delusional mindset, it makes you very easy to figure out. You think that you live in a reality where everyone is just kind of aloof, and you're the only thing in it that's actually really doing anything. The narcissistic sociopathic mind state would dictate that you believe you're living in a dream world and everything in it is inconsequential, that your impact on it really has no consequence or has any sort of effect on it whatsoever, that people are wrong to have the reaction that they're having to this sort of thing, that they're bad people for thinking that you somehow are capable of doing wrong. In your mind, you cannot do anything wrong, that we're assholes for pointing out the fact that every single thing you do for attention is fundamentally wrong, and you don't like that your narcissistic control is being taken away from you. This is why you're freaking out so hard. You only freak out when bits of control are taken away from you. You freak out only like this when bits of control are taken away from you. And I find that quite telling and quite amusing. It's fucking ridiculous, and your meat eaters know less. And I'm not saying, you know, meat eaters should feel horrible for- Well, what, who gives a shit if we're meat eaters, you stupid fucking pussy? When the hell are you gonna grow up and finally be a man? You know? Did your mother just masturbate you for, like, your first session so you knew how to do it? Is that how big of a fucking retard you are? When are you gonna grow a pair of balls and actually become a fucking man and get over the fact that things in this world live and things in this world die? Okay? If people like you gave a flying fuck about the rights of animals, which you don't because you kill them, uh, you know, if you, are you gonna, when are you gonna fucking do something about these issues? If you don't like the fact that people harvest meat, do something about it. If you don't like the fact that people consume flesh, do something about it. None of your organizations have done anything remotely constructive to stop people from doing what they feel is a completely natural thing, eating the way they choose. Aside from groups like the Animal Liberation Front, which you're too big of a pussy ballless little fag to be part of, you know, yeah, sure, let's go run around with Rodney Coronado and throw fucking firebombs into the windows of places that have animals locked up so they can get medical treatment to be healed from diseases that could easily kill humans too. Yeah, let's do some constructive things like that. Let's go be PETA and then, uh, make videos and pictures comparing chicken coops to the Holocaust. Right. Oh, because that, there's no moral dissension there. I mean, for God's sake, if you're going to claim to be a vegetarian, which I've doubted highly over the years, do something that actually is proactive in your whole animal fucking rights bullshit, whatever you want to fucking do. Because I know plenty of people that give a fuck more about taking care of animals than they do taking care of even themselves and they still eat meat. So I don't see how this nonsensical friggin' 
bullcrap argument you're trying to propose here makes any sense. What they do or anything. I'm just saying meat, eater, meat eaters consume animals far more intelligent than the one that accidentally died the other day. So it's just a matter of intelligence. Okay. So you're belittling the intelligence of your own pet and you think that it's bad when people consume creatures smarter than that? Where does intellect factor into that at all? That doesn't make any sense. That's just the most irrationally stupid argument ever. You know, I'm pretty sure that animals that are slaughtered for food have gotten to a certain state after it's been done for so many years where they kind of realize that a lot of their end game is just that. No less. Okay, intentionally, every single day. You guys are probably nomming on meat right now, a lot of you. Actually, I'm going to go get a burger after I'm done watching this video, so what the fuck ever. The difference is that we don't kill people's pets or kill our own pets for publicity. And you do. And then you claim that you give a fuck about the rights of animals, which you don't. And, you know, to each their own. I'm not sitting here going, you know, you. Uh, I'm going to call animal control on you for eating a burger. We're not calling animal control on you for doing any stupid thing that you want to claim. We're calling animal control on you for. We're calling animal control on you because you live in a disgusting, filthy fucking house and coop animals up in it. Every fucking video you film, you get a little glimpse of the surroundings, which are covered in trash. There's a video you did with Shiloh where you filmed her in the shower. You had rats coming out of your drawers. You have black mold folding up the fucking tiles in your kitchen. You live in disgusting conditions. You got thrown out of an apartment by a landlord up there because you were supposedly leaving the apartment in deplorable conditions and they tried to sue you for $7,000. You live in shit. In your videos now, your house is constantly dirty and you have pets running around that. Animals that can eat gross shit up off your floors, get poisoned by it, and die. I'm surprised your dog Dobbs is still alive, especially with you screaming at him all the time over a fucking shoe, you nut. Okay, <laughs> there's this weird hypocrisy in society where people, like, for some reason are completely delusional about their own diets. So it's Because our diets are the least important thing that matter in the world, really. I mean, to some people they're important, yes, but that's a personal thing. On a scope of every topic and every subject in the world, it's the least important thing. You can sit there and say that there's no delineation between foreign wars and policy and politics and all that shit, and saying that the most important thing to keep your country from getting nuked is not eating burgers. But of course, that's the argument a completely, a completely retarded, stupid fuck would bring. And it doesn't make any sense. Said, oh, it's, I, I may eat meat, but I don't kill my pets. You know what the difference between a pet and fucking your burger is? I don't fuck my burger, so I wouldn't know. You decided to say you own your pet. Yeah. And? That's the difference. And? What? The that, 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 that's not a difference, and neither does that make any sense. You know, I know where food comes from. I'm not dumb. I don't need to reference the pull the lever and the cow goes moo toy that they made for children to understand where food comes from, Gregory. All right? And yes, I've decided to say I own my pets and I take care of them and I don't feel the need to butcher them for food because I'm not a fucking retarded idiot who thinks that somehow or another there's this huge delineation between murderer or actually no that would be huge in your case small delineation between murderer and meat eater you just harp on the subject simply because you know it's a hot topic to talk about because people know that guys like you are fundamentally stupid and your points don't make any sense okay and it's funny to me that if you want to also claim that you're such an animal rights activist you've done nothing for animals you can put a PETA sticker on your website Ooh, wow big fucking whoop it doesn't do anything and neither does that organization do anything for animals either they kill like a third of the animals they take in mainly because they rob them out of horrible conditions and put them in worse ones and they simply die as a result of the environments they were subjected to one animal was created uh, to become food another animal was created to become whatever you bought them for yeah pretty much pretty much and you may think that's stupid, but cultures for thousands of years all over the world 
have had that mentality. Because as a lot of us humans see it, and I don't think you class yourself as human, I surely don't, I think you're like some kind of sentient pile of artery plaque. You know, humans all over the world for thousands of years have thought that's the natural order of things. Some animals are given to us for food, and others are given to us for pets. Are you going to just sit there and willingly challenge thousands of years of cultural tradition simply so you can devour some plants? And what about plants that eat meat? Venus flytraps? Pitcher plants? I mean, I'm sure you don't know what the hell those are because you're about as intelligent as a fifth grader. But okay. You know, your argument doesn't make any sense at all. So if you decided to say... I mean, you, you, it really doesn't. You, you, you would know this, and it, you know it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I want to eat this, then, of course, you'd probably have to get a license, or you'd probably have to get some certification in order to properly slaughter an animal. Properly slaughter. But the point is, is that could have really, very well wound up your food. A turtle? Where would I get a certification to kill my dogs? I mean, are you so crazy you think that things like that exist? Wow. I mean, not only that, the thing that disturbs me about your vegetarian argument is the level of gross detail you feel constantly you need to go into to describe the process of meat packing. I mean, we all know it's gross, but you get off on describing it. You go into detail. Are you simply a vegetarian because you like the idea of killing things for food? Or just killing things in general? I mean, do you want to just be one of these, like, animal liberation nutcases so you get a reason to look at cut-open pictures of cows and shit? I'm just wondering, because I personally find that shit disgusting, and you have no problem talking about it like it's nothing, like you talk about the death of a pet you killed. Anyway, so, uh, also, one more thing about me saying a child doesn't know any better... Uh, for and for the same reason I didn't know any better. Because you're a child? All right. I'm glad to see that you class your level of intelligence about as high as I class your level of intelligence. I'm glad to see that we finally found some common ground. That I wasn't saying I was a child, you idiots. Were you paying attention at all? The only comparison I use with myself and a child is the ignorance. And you Well, is that any better? So you just fucking want to go out and... Okay, here, here's... Wow... So you want to proclaim that it's wrong for people to make judgments about your um, your points of view when you've just stated that you're as ignorant as a child. You want to be a 27-year-old man that admits you're as ignorant as a child? That, that, that's just retarded. <laughs> you know what, I don't... Yeah, you know what, the video title for this is so perfect. This video is retarded. This is retarded. <laughs> I feel I actually was ignorant because I feel like I, I thought that out very well. Reptiles love heat. Everybody, well, most everybody knows that the idiots watching my videos that are commenting like fucking morons clearly don't know that. Which are mostly your subscribers, so good on you. Most of these people are your own subscribers. You, you know that, right? No, of course you don't because you're stupid. <laughs> Reptiles love heat. The turtle didn't bake to death. Flat out. Okay? Case closed on that. Did not bake to death. Actually, this weekend coming up, I'm going to go buy myself a thermometer, put it in a plastic bin, and I'm going to put it out in the sun for even just 30 minutes to show you how hot it gets in one of those things. And just because it's Vegas, I'll put it out in some shady sun. Because it gets to be about 115 out here normally. And there was oxygen in, in the container, and the container was very large, and oxygen was coming from underneath the container. It doesn't matter. You still did it. You still killed your pet to get a rise out of me to make a video. It doesn't matter. You're disgusting. And everything was fine, okay? So you guys need to stop being unforgivable fucking idiot retards. Most of these people, I will repeat, are your own subscribers. I'm glad to see that this is how low you think of them. But you always thought this low of them because you're a narcissist, Gregory. Everyone in the world is below you. Everyone. About this whole thing. You are fucking dumb. And if you are still watching my videos and you don't like me, you're, f you're even that much more fucking dumb. Whatever, shithead. You're the fucking retard who invited me into a debate with you and then you're such a fucking pussy so you can try to remove evidence of it. You copyright, uh, copyright claimed it off my channel. 
it doesn't matter that you did that. You do realize I still have a copy of that on my hard drive, right? I archive every bullshit interaction you and I have ever had to make sure there's a history of it. So you can't just go claim, oh, well, this never happened. Okay, you fucking loser. This is what you do. You sit on people's fucking channels and you soak up drama. Uh, no, that's what you do. I don't soak up drama. I just point out the fact that you're kind of a narcissistic sociopath who kills his pets for attention. I'm just, I'm, li I'm not going to live that down. He was talking about me being fucking drama. Look at you, you fucking scumbag. Oh, okay. I look pretty good. You're the one eating it up. Fuck you, okay? You don't want to be... It's easy for you to say this over the internet, you fucking pussy. But I'm glaring goddamn... T glaring goddamn teed. You wouldn't even last five seconds trying to get that kind of bullshit in my face. I'd just break your fucking nose and throw you out a window. I think you're a disgusting, psycho human being. And you're saying all this with this bright-eyed smile on your face. You're insulting me with a smile on your face. Which is fucking creepy. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed this, but there's a difference between you and every other human being in the world. You're outclassed by your own species. I don't know if you know this. Here, don't fucking be here. That's fucking logic, you goddamn stupid... <laughs> you dummy! Oh, I want to use that word. I just know I can't use that. I want to call you a... Would you stop being such a pussy and call me a faggot or a retard or a cunt or a queer or a dick mongling horse fucker or a shit swallowing German porn star? <sighs> Mama won't let me! She'll hit me with a flashlight again! But then I gotta tell myself I love my abusive mother! <sighs> <laughs> my mom tried to chop open my door with an axe and I even had the balls to tell people that in one of my debate videos but I don't think that's child abuse <laughs> mom likes to stockpile animals up on her creepy little ranch where new age bullshit goes on until they're fucking sickly and dying and doesn't think that should be illegal <laughs> mom taught me everything I need to know about vegetarianism because we're all such pacifist little pussy queers in our family that we can't have balls to have any sort of rational mindset whatever you know we like to kill our own animals and then rant on meat eaters for eating bur burgers even though many meat eaters in this world have done more liberal causes for animal uh, cruelty and things like that to try to stop it than any meat uh, meat hating vegetarian has ever done in their entire life <laughs> right huh hey let's go eat huh you guys are you just turned into Tommy was so fucking dumb fucking dumb thumbs down this I don't care you really think the fucking thumbs down, thumbs up system makes a fucking difference? Yeah, it does. You're making this video so clearly, and you're getting all pissed off about it. It really does. So, uh, how about the top 500 this week? You're, like, flying out of YouTube popularity, and you're getting pissed that it's because people don't want to find anything valuable in your shit, because there's nothing valuable to find in it. Go ahead. You know, make yourself feel better. Click thumbs down on this video. I did a thumbs down. I did. Actually... I actually have multiple channels on YouTube, so I click the thumbs down button about 14 times. I might actually just make other accounts so I can simply thumbs down it more when I'm done doing this video, if you want. I mean, if you want. If you want me to do that, then I'm more than fine doing that for you. Just, just letting you know that I'll suck the dick of the dislike button by making as many fucking sock accounts that I can just to do that. Just to do that. For you. For you, honey. I'm gonna slit my wrist after that. Oh. <sighs> oh. And if you are so fucking sick of society and their fucking stupid pussy ass bullshit that is no less. You sound so. You sound so uncomfortable swearing like you were slapped and thrown in a corner every time you said a bad word. You're like. It's like watching the destruction of someone's masculinity. Purely hypocritical and contradictory. Then thumbs up this video, because you know I'm fucking right. You guys... <laughs> judging me for this whole fucking turtle thing are goddamn losers. You're fucking scumbag pieces. You're poopy heads. This shit. Yeah, you hoser. You're the, you're the lowest of the low.
You are the fucking bottom of the barrel idiots. That's why half your subscription base is coming over to my videos to watch them. Because I'm the bottom of the barrel, scumbag, lowest of the low, idiot. Yeah, okay. Um, I hate to point this out to you, but people think that you're a disgusting psychopath that kills your pets to get attention from people, and there's no other way around it. That's why most of your subscribers are migrating from your videos over to mine, because I'm not an illogical piece of crap that murders innocent creatures to make a point to somebody they don't like on the internet. I would have not made a single video, I would have not made a single statement on this had you said my pet died. But you did this intentionally, and I can fucking tell you did this intentionally because you took a picture of a really nefariously weird situation that you knew no one was going to take seriously. You did the classic Onision Speaks thing of stirring up drama by doing another disturbing, uh, bizarre situation that doesn't make any sense. And you knew because an animal was involved, I was going to get heated. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. You follow aspects of my life because you're obsessed with me more than people assume I'm obsessed with you. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm making videos now about this again simply because it has to be done. I don't want to have to do this. You know, I mean, it, the, the notion that this had, it had to go to this extent, he knew that it was going to take nothing less than something this insane in order to dredge my attention up again. And you got what you wanted. Now deal with your animal control. Because I'm not going to believe your bullshit statement that they're not interested. You can't just be a, cod a goddamn criminal nutcase like you are and not drag up people's attention. I mean, like I said, your family's been in trouble before. And whatever. It, it just, it's amusing to me that you kill animals and you're claiming to be an activist for the rights of said animals. You're not. You're a liar. You don't give a flying fuck about anything that happens to animals. You don't give a flying fuck what happens to your pets. Somebody could come into your yard and kick your dog to death and you wouldn't give a flying fuck. You'd go, well, that sucks. Now I better get another dog. Nah, I'll probably do that to that too. Well, whatever. I mean, humans bury animals, so I guess I better bury it. The, the, the normal process of morals and, and grieving and 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 and, 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 sh and empathy they don't occur to you because you're insane and you kill animals for attention okay and all you guys running this campaign is just making you fucking look stupid and waste which is not true because people are coming and siding with us it's actually helping us greatly not just for pointing out the fact that you're insane but you know getting more people into the ranting community I mean, a lot of people have jumped on this ranting bandwagon. Not because this is simply a ploy to get them on the bandwagon. It's not. It's because they like people who think rationally and can formulate rational arguments without having to resort to idiotic banter. It's government resources. Because guess what? I treat my goddamn dogs very well. What about government I resources? I love my dogs. The campaign is just making you fucking look stupid and waste government resources. Because... Government resources? What do you mean government resources? What are you fucking talking about? What do you think the government funds YouTube? <laughs> Guess what? I treat my goddamn dogs very well. Yeah, that's why you feed them vegan food and they look starved. That's why you live in a house full of trash. That's why you live in a fucking shit situation and shit conditions and you scream at your dog for taking shoes. And then bitch about how he chewed up blinds. Right. Let's wait and see how that kid's going to be treated. Unless Lanny's family wants to do the smart thing and get that kid away from you as soon as humanly possible. I fucking love my dogs, and I am so good to them. That's why I so believe your tone of voice. I love my pets. I am so good to them. You have to believe the words that I'm saying. I'm Pat Sajak. No. You don't... I don't believe you. And, and no one does. So you can, you can stop at any time. You can cancel at any time. Nobody believes you. I just want you to know that no one... No one believes you.
And so is my... I mean, nobody rational. I mean, you can get 14-year-olds to believe anything. Most of the fucking retards in your subscription base, who are your hardcore fans, you could tell them the sky is green and these morons would believe it. And judging by some of the things that they like to indulge in, at least from the channels that I've looked into, they take so much acid, they probably do see the sky green. My wife, who was very good to them as well. That's why I'm totally letting my wife speak her mind on this issue. Oh wait, that's right. I have a wife who I love very much. And that's why you see her in none of my fucking videos speaking her mind about anything. And that's why every time she's on the camera, she's always in her phone doing this, constantly looking manically depressed. Because I love her so much and I treat her so well. I didn't even know how the hell like I could live a life being as big of a douche as you. I'd probably hang myself in a tree. Okay. So if anybody... No, okay. No, okay. No. No. Okay. Y y you treat everything in your life like shit. Looks at my... You kill animals for attention. My dogs. Especially in, in today's video. It's gonna be great. Fuck. Now that I gotta make a point that I treat my dogs. It's gonna be fucking great. I fuck. Now I gotta make a video. <sighs> It's like I can just read your thought process. Like this, just like it's like it's like on a ticker scroll. You know, you're only gonna make a video now to try to prove people wrong. Don't work like that. And <laughs> had a great time with my dogs. But if if anybody, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, looks into this, they're gonna go, "Wow, you guys are fucking morons!" <laughs> just like I was saying, fucking morons. You know what animal abuse looks like? Type in animal abuse. To Google, okay? What's Dougal? It turned the safe search off. What's a Dougal? You'll see what fuck. He said Dougal. What the fuck is Dougal? Do you want know animal abuse looks like? Type in animal abuse to Google. What the hell is a Dougal? Okay, <laughs> it turned the safe search off. You'll well, no, I don't want to do that because I know that's what you do for pornography. You just masturbate to probably dead animals all day. You probably masturbate to dead people too. I don't want to engage in your sick behavior. Let's see what fucking animal abuse looks like. All right? No animal abuse occurred here. I'm sure it didn't. That's why you feed them vegan food. Your dogs look underfed and starved, and they constantly are begging you for attention when you're shunning them off all the time, and you're not paying them any attention. And when you want to go make a video, you put them outside until they're clawing and whining at the door trying to get back in. Right. Take a look at your dogs, asshole. And then take a look at mine. My dog was about as skinny as yours when we got him from a rescue shelter. He was abused horribly. Horribly. And especially while he was there. Because the guy who runs that shelter really didn't know how to take care of him. When we saw this poor guy, my fiance's heart broke. And we took him in because we loved him. For a dog that size, you have to feed it raw chicken parts. Because there's not enough nutrition in small dog food that can satiate or give any sort of nutrition to an animal that big. It's not good for their diet to feed them regular dog food. It's a straight up wolf. The goddamn guy weighs so big that when he sits on my lap when I get on the couch, I can't get up. There's no way in hell I would ever let him get as bony and thin as your dogs. You may be nice to them in a video, but that's a video. And we all know what the world is like for you when that camera's off. You're an emotionally abusive, psycho piece of shit. And you hurt everything around you. Constantly. Everything in your life you treat like shit. Accidents happened, but nobody intentionally did anything. I'm yes, you did. Like you, who every single day pays people to slit the throats of animals to do whatever. I don't pay people to slit the throats of animals. You remind me of that Chuli's gum guy in Clerks now, where you're, you're calling. It's like calling people cancer merchants to sell gum. You're calling people animal murderers to sell your videos. Whatever they want with those animals, because the treatment isn't that regulated, believe it or not. And if you want to see, yeah, in the third world a video that reveals all the bullshit that you're sitting on type in paul mccartney glass walls i've watched that video so many times thanks to idiotic fuckers like you it's full of shit paul mccartney is an actor and a musician he's paid to represent things like that just because he's paul mccartney doesn't make a bit of difference the video can still be full of shit in the third world there really isn't much regulation 
for animal slaughter. There really isn't. Here, there has to be, because our country has what's called an FDA. And I just knocked a Deadpool off my goddamn thing. Rapsion, if you watch this video, you might like this. This thing's pretty cool. You ought to get one. <laughs> this little bobblehead Deadpool I found in a comic shop here has nothing to do with my video at all. Distraction there. I just... Whatever, he falls over because his fucking head bobbles around so much. He actually fell straight into a cup of boiling coffee the other day. So now you know how Deadpool got his burnt face. <laughs> um, but in this country, no, because of the FDA, we, there's a lot of regulations on it. This is why in this country you don't have lots of mad cow disease going on from un Im improperly processed meat. Things like that can happen, but they happen here far less than they do in other countries, especially the third world. You'll find out that meat eaters are fucking full of shit when it comes to anyone, any one of them standing up for animal rights. Yeah, I'm sure. That's because, you know, we're the people that go throw red paint on people who eat meat. We're the people that go throw Molotov cocktails made out of milk jugs through the windows of research labs that are researching diseases found in animals so that they can have vaccines for diseases found in human beings. Okay, yeah. We're the people that are responsible for that. Uh, you're wrong. Frankly, you're wrong. The natural order of things is tooth, fang, and claw. That's it. That's how it will always be. People like you cannot survive in nature. You can't survive in the wild. You just, you'll die. You throw you out in the wild, even if you went to your survival school, which now, thanks to a few messages I've gotten from people who've actually taken survivalist school in the Air Force, in the Army, and a couple of Marines who sent me their survivalist training experiences compared to your own. I don't believe you actually did it now. But if you, you know, had any of that survivalist school knowledge, you'd know that that's what you have to do to survive. And you wouldn't last 10 seconds out there. Say you were in a plane crash, ended up in some really fucked up location, you had to do what you had to do to keep yourself going so you could get help for other people, you'd die within about 30 seconds. You'd probably get bitten by like a coral snake or something like that. Your head would swell up from all the infection to the size of a goddamn basketball and you'd die. And I'd laugh because your death would be just unbelievably, amazingly ironic. Okay, a man standing up for animals' rights while eating a burger is a fucking hypocrite. Well, whatever. You can call me a hypocrite all you fucking want. I don't give a flying fuck. It doesn't change the fact that people like myself have done more for the rights of animals and their fair treatment even if it does include the fact that they get more fairer treatment when it comes to processing and farming than people like you ever have done and ever will do. Ingrid Newkirk is a fucking cunt of the highest order, and I hope to God she gets raped by baboons over and over and over again because she's a worthless piece of fucking shit. Fuck her. And that's what so many people watching these videos are. Oh, that's different. Don't attack my diet, blah, blah, blah. They're both fucking animals. It, it doesn't matter, asshole. You just don't understand the natural order of things. You can get as mad as you want. It doesn't matter. We are both fucking animals, okay? A turtle is an animal, and a cow is an animal. A turtle is an animal, and a pig is an animal. And I'm sure that if you had a cow or a pig, you'd kill both of them to make a point to me. Whatever. You're insane. It doesn't change the fact that you're trying to come off as a better person by harping on this, you know, vegetarian argument when you killed a pet to make a point to me. And there's no other way I can see that. Everything that you've done in this video hammered the point home that this is intentional. I'm not the one soaking up drama here. I didn't want to make more videos about you. I think you're insane. I think you're retarded. I think that you have the intellectual capacity of a fifth grader and you're just completely stunted in every way, shape, or form. Your arguments that you formulate in your videos make no logical sense whatso fucking ever. You can't even dictate a sound point of view when it comes to the subject of meat-eating versus vegetarianism, and you sway between being a vegetarian and a vegan more than my balls sway in the breeze. So please, get fucking real. You only care about these subjects because they're hot topics that stir up drama that get your name out there. You only did this to get your name out there, and you cannot accept that fact, you fucking asshole. So whatever. I mean, what else do you want me to say? You want me to lie to myself and say, well, I was wrong because he said so. That No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not stupid like most of your subscribers.
Both animals which you eat. A, t a fucking pig is actually as intelligent as a three-year-old human being. So you're about as intelligent as a pig, then. Okay? I guarantee you a turtle's not that smart. Well, how do you fucking know? Maybe there are turtles that are far more intelligent than that. What observational standard, uh, what, what kind of quanta are you fucking using? You know, what kind of, uh, uh, um, uh, what kind of stimuli are you going by? You know, what, what, what kind of controlled experiment did you come to, to that conclusion with? A pig may be about as intelligent as, as a three-year-old child. But at the same time, I have not met many three-year-old children that go roll around and wallow in their own shit and in the mud all the time. They may be as intelligent as a three-year-old child, but we hold them to far less of a standard than a human being. Doesn't make any difference. They're still going to be used for farming, and there's not a goddamn thing people like you can do or say to stop that. And there's not a thing that you, you guys have ever really done or said anyway that was good enough to get people to even consider stopping it because every single one of you look like a fucking irrational shithead. That's what you eat on your fucking pizza. Okay? So d Yum. I'm going to probably get a pizza later too. Don't you sit there, you fucking retard, and tell me that I've done something horrible when you're- You did. You killed a pet for attention. Your blood, your fucking blood is all over you. Okay, whatever. Some people like to have gory sex, okay? If I've got a bucket of pig's blood by the side of the bed, and me and my girl are going at it, so what if I like to smear a little blood all over myself? Pig's blood, too. Cow blood, as well. Not human, though. Human's too stinky. No. You always have to have new neighbors circulating. Yeah. Too much mess. I'm kidding, of course, but... You idiot. Butthead. Fuck you. Hoser. Cunt. Okay? Get the fuck off my channel. <laughs> Even though you, the reason you did this was for me to come to your channel in the first place. Bravo, though! I'm glad to see that you're fundamentally retarded and you think that uh, uh, ev ev evasions like this are gonna sway my opinion. You're crazy. You killed a pet for attention and you're making videos to back it up. That you didn't do this while doing everything in your power to prove that you did. Okay. I'm not gonna even try to explain that psychology because it did like three or four times in this video, but whatever. I, I, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even. It would never have crossed my mind to even do this to something for simple drama and attention. Whatever. You're disgusting. Entirely. And this video is like an hour long. Holy crap. So anyway, until next time, I'm some guy on the internet and so are you.